All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by 9 to the power of x. So now this results in 9 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now 9 to the power of x and 9 to the power of x cancel out. So I get 1 plus 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, that's going to equal 15 over 9 to the power of x. And 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, that's going to equal 25 over 9 to the power of x. And now, 15 over 9 simplifies to 5 over 3. And 25 over 9, that simplifies to 5 squared over 3 squared. So now 5 squared over 3 squared, that's going to equal 5 over 3 squared. Now I have this to the power of x. Now if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So 5 over 3 squared to the power of x, that's the same thing as 5 over 3 to the power of x squared. Now I'm going to let 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I get 1 plus y is equal to y squared. And if I subtract y and 1 on both sides, I get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So I get a quadratic equation, and to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 1, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. This is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times 1 times negative 1, which is plus 4, all over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now remember how we let 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to y. So I have 5 over 3 to the power of x equals to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now this gives me two equations. I have 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So 5 over 3 to the power of x equals 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Well, 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be a negative number. And a negative number divided by 2 is still a negative number. And notice how we have a positive number to the power of another number here. And you, ta you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal to negative. So there is no solution for this. Now, for 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And if I have something to form log a to the power of b, I can move b to the front, so this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 over 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times log 5 over 3 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 5 over 3, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 5 over 3. 